Season 3 picks up exactly where Season 2 leaves off, with our heroes traveling to Neverland in order to save Henry and stop, uh, and stop whoever's behind all this. <clears throat> uh, however, in the Enchanted Forest, we find out that Neil is alive. Uh, he is rescued by Mulan and Aurora, and uh, once he once his wound is once his wound is healed, he decides to go off on a journey to uh, his father's old castle and see if he can find some kind of artifact that he can use to transport himself. Uh, to transport himself from the Enchanted Force to where everyone else is. <clears throat> uh, but, meanwhile, the rest of our heroes find themselves uh, on Neverland. <clears throat> and Rumpelstiltskin decides he's going to go off and save Henry on his own. So he leaves the others, and uh, <clears throat> the other five have to work together in order to save Henry. There are some rough patches here and there, here and there, especially at the beginning when they're arguing so much that they are literally creating a storm. The more they argue. And, uh, uh, Emma brings everyone together and gets them to work together. They find out that there's no way that they can beat Pan so long as, uh, so long as he has the, so long as he has the advantage, because they have no idea where any of his, uh, they have no idea where his camp is. They have no idea where him and the Lost Boys uh, make camp. So, to change that, they seek out the one person who might be willing to help them. Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell does not have her wings, and as she lost her wings and her ability to use magic, uh, when she attempted to help uh, Regina... Find love, find love, back when sh back when uh, she had first become queen. Back then, Regina was uh, was <clears throat> had had evil intentions, yes, but she still had good in her, and. Regina had the chance to find a new love. To finally move on from the stable boy that she had dated. Uh, and she was afraid. She was too afraid to walk through the door and meet her new love. And so she walked away, and because uh, and because Tinkerbell tried to, and because Tinkerbell tried to help her, uh, she lost her wings. Because Tinkerbell tried to help her, and it didn't work, she lost her wings and her ability to use magic. Meanwhile. <clears throat> Henry was brought to Peter Pan. Henry was brought to Peter Pan, and Peter Pan is slowly trying to get him... is slowly trying to get him <clears throat> to uh, open up to him. Because Henry has the heart of the truest believer. Uh, he, Henry believes in all magic. He believes all things are possible. 
uh, the truest believer is the one who believes anything can happen. Uh, who has opened his heart to magic. And, uh, and Pan needs Henry for something. He keeps saying that magic is dying on the island. Magic is dying, and only Henry can save it. Um, and so, as the journey goes on, uh, we find out on Rumpelstiltskin's end, he has a history with Pan. Oh, excuse me. Uh, we find out that Pan, back before uh, he became Peter Pan, he was he was Rumpelstiltskin's father. Uh, the two of them searched for Neverland together. And when they found it, uh, his father found out that he could have eternal youth. He could be a kid again, and he could stay a kid forever. But he had to get rid of the one thing that's keeping him an adult. His son. So he had his son uh, taken back to the Enchanted Forest, and Rumpel grew up without a father. His father abandoned him, and left him in a, in a, in a world that was, that had been cruel to him so far. So he became fearful of the world around him, which is why he became such a coward in later years. So, so there's a lot of history. There's a lot of history and a lot of tension going through on Rumpelstiltskin's end. All the while, he's trying to decide what he should do because a vision told him that Henry would be the one to lead him to his son, but Henry would also be his undoing. Now the old Rumpelstiltskin would have just said, "Would have just said, then I'll just kill the boy." But this new Rumpelstiltskin, he knows Henry is his grandson. He doesn't want to uh, hurt his family. So. So, he's trying to decide what he's going to do. And so, uh, Neil finally finds out how to get to, how to get, uh, to where everyone else is. <coughs> so, uh, and he gets to the, ca he gets to the castle and finds someone else has taken up refuge there. Robin Hood. And, uh, uh, Robin Hood, it seems, is an old friend of Rumpelstiltskin's. As shocking as that sounds. Um, and Neil finds a little, um, snow globe, uh, essentially. Um, and uses it to get it uses it to take him back and and uh let's see here lost my train of thought oh uh, yeah <clears throat> i remember <clears throat> so <clears throat> 
Base, so basically, uh, once Neil's there, he meets up with Rumpelstiltskin. Uh, him and Rumpel decide to work together to try to save Henry. They get Henry out of dan They get Henry out of danger, but then Neil finds out about the prof about the prophecy. Uh, and so he thinks that he thinks that Rumpel was going to uh, kill Henry. That Rumpel would rather kill Henry than Rumpel would rather kill Henry than uh, uh, than allow Henry to be his undoing. So, so, uh, so Neil manages to paralyze Rump, paralyze Rumpel, and get out of there with Henry. Henry, of course, gets recaptured. Yeah, good job there, Neil. <laughs> uh, Neil, uh, Neil eventually meets up with Emma, Hook, <clears throat> Charming Snow, and Regina. And the six of them have to work together for one final chance to get Henry back. Alongside uh, <clears throat> Tinkerbell. Uh, and during the time that... Uh, Emma and the others were separate from Neil. Her and Hook became very close. And Charming ended up uh getting uh ended up getting cut by some dream shade. Uh which is a powerful powerful poison. Uh, that will slowly kill you, and and there is a cure, but uh, the cure. But once you take the cure, you cannot leave Neverland. If you do, the cure will stop working, and the Nightshade will come back with a vengeance. The Dream Shade will come back with a vengeance. And, uh, so Charming gets cut with the Dream Shade. He hides it from the others. And Hook, Hook has already seen what it does. Hook saw his brother die from the dream sh from dream shade uh <clears throat> and in this season we actually get to see hook's origins as a pirate uh it was really nice to get to see this guy who was once a respectable person and to see how he managed to fall so far uh the loss of his brother just really hit him hard and, uh, yeah, so, Hook saves, Hook manages to save, uh, Charming, and everyone seems to trust him now. Everyone seems to trust him, and... When Neil finally does, and when Neil finally does show up, uh, Emma is so confused and conflicted because um, she's really grown to l like uh, Hook, but at the same time, she also still has feelings for Neil. So she's extremely conflicted as to. Uh, as to who should she be with, trying to decide. And, of course, the two boys are fighting over her. Uh, uh, okay, like, 
love triangles, they can work out. They can work if they're done well. And uh, the love triangle on this, it, it's, it's short, but the time that we spend on it is comedy. It's used for comedy. It's used to play up laughs. I think it's absolutely hilarious, like, how the boys continue to fight over her. And now she's, she's like, so terrified that she's trying to avoid both of them. And um, just the dialogue between them. It brings a lot of uh, comedy, because you wouldn't expect these characters to be doing this. You wouldn't expect these uh, characters to be saying stuff like this. So it just brings a lot of laughs. So that's why I like the love triangle in the fan arc. But back to the story. And wow, look at the time. I'm at 16 minutes. Okay. Uh, time to wrap this up. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be hard. Uh, so, <clears throat> so uh, they managed to uh, say, they all managed to work together to trap Pan Shat, to trap Pan Shadow <clears throat> inside a coconut. I wish there was a better way I could explain that. That's just how it is. They trap Pan Shadow inside a coconut. And they managed to and they managed to save They managed to save Hen they managed to save Henry. They managed to save Henry. And they and they head out. They everybody leaves, including the Lost Boys. Um. Uh. And it turns out, and uh, it turns out, Rumpelstiltskin had a device that was supposed to seal Pan away, Pan got a hold of it and instead used it to seal, uh, to seal, uh, Henry's soul inside it. And then Pan switched bodies with Henry. So Pan is now him. Pan is now Henry. When they get back, <clears throat> Pan Hen, or Hen Pan, I'll go with Hen Pan, <laughs> or Panry, there you go, Panry, uh, Panry, uh, goes and activates a curse, a new curse, <clears throat> uh, one that will destroy all of Storybrooke and everyone in it. Uh, and everybody, everyone is getting ready to uh, go try to stop this curse, but Pan is already one step ahead. He arrives, and just like that, freezes everybody in their tracks. And they have to watch as the uh, as the curse gets closer and closer. Until Rumpelstiltskin shows up. He shows up, and he saves everyone. He faces his, he faces his father. He faces his father has one final talk with him before bringing out his dagger and stabbing his father in the back along with himself in his heart. And his father and his father says we could have we could have a happy ending and Rumpel says one of the best lines in the series. But I'm a villain. And villains don't get 
happy endings. And he twists the knife and destroys both of them. As everyone else watches, Bell and uh, Bell and Neil watch. When Rumples disappears, Neil realizes how wrong he was about his father. And Regina goes and uses a counter curse. The counter curse won't destroy the people of Storybrooke, but it will send them back to where they came from, the Enchanted Forest. And seeing as how even Emma is from the Enchanted Forest, it seems everyone, everyone is going to be taken back to the Enchanted Forest, except Henry. Because Henry was born in our world. But, seeing as how Emma has already escaped one curse, she can surely escape this one. So her and Henry leave town, and Regina gives them new memories. Because she knows that, most likely, they will never see each other again. So the curse hits, Emma and Pan leave, and everyone else is taken back to the Enchanted Forest. End of the Pan arc. Or so we think. For at the end, for at the very end, just before the credits roll, uh, <clears throat> about two years later, is it two years, or maybe it's one year? One or two years later, quite some time has passed, and a knock comes on the apartment door of Emma and Henry. Emma opens it, and who is there but Hook? And he tells her, you have to come back with me. Your family is in terrible danger. It seems something wicked this way comes. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.